Um, you know, the mission of EBI is to help people with developmental disabilities to have an equal shot in society. And um, there's a whole history of how that hasn't happened. And a lot of people with developmental disabilities work all day and they don't make minimum wage. A lot of people with developmental disabilities live in environments where they don't control who comes in the front door. And over the years, what we realized is, in our agency, half our staff leave on average per year. So you can't, um, you can't, we can't achieve our mission unless we change the experience for the workers. Well, I would like to say how delighted I am today to be here at the celebration. And I'm so proud of Tom. He's uh, somebody that I admire so much, and uh, he's going to help us to have the best agency in the world. Right now, our agency is top notch, but with the uniting with the union, it's going to be even better. And we're going to have a lot of opportunities that we wouldn't have had uh, without the union, such as training and better benefits. And just a, a strong, strong agency is what we have. We were a bit reluctant. We weren't sure. We had all these preconceived notions of uh, unionizing and traditional bargaining methods. We were concerned about an adversarial relationship with, our, with the union and with our staff and, and wondering about how it was going to impact our clients. Tom assured us that the relationship would be positive and friendly. And with some skepticism, we decided to move forward because we understood the value of the leg of legislative power that we might gain from this partnership. He did send a letter, and I'd like to read it to you now. Dear friends, while I regret I can't be with you today, as you witness the signing of the first contract under the Employee Free Choice Act legislation, I'm pleased to have this opportunity to congratulate all of the participants in this historic event. The law is simple in its effect. It will help make our economy stronger and work for everyone again by giving workers the tools they need to bargain for fair wages, benefits, and treatment. I strongly believe that the union here uh, with EBI will make us, I mean, just be very strong. Uh, people will have a better opportunity and I just think it will be clearly, when I just, you know, heard, their voices will be heard. I just strongly believe that uh, it's for the best. I want to say that I am, I am so proud of our company for um, setting an example for others. And it's just, we all need to work together. Everybody needs to work together. The fighting has got to stop. We need to work together. We need to get to the union, the employers and the employees, and the unions need to work together to get that middle class in there. And um, I'm just I'm just proud of our company, and I just hope that everybody will use this example. And, uh, our management team sat at the table with our staff in SEIU 10 to 1, having open discussions about contract issues. When we came to areas that would typically be confrontational, we would talk friendly about our concerns and our fears. We would discuss ways to compromise to ensure that both parties were comfortable with the end agreement. The entire bargaining process was an open and positive experience. It is our hope that this collaboration will be the model for union organizing with other agencies like ours throughout the state. Because we're actually going to sign the contract, everybody. What a thought. It's been a long time coming. So I just want to say, all of you here today, what we all share in common, we have more in common than most people would think. We, that's what we do, is we advocate on behalf of those who can't advocate for themselves. And we do it when times are tough. We do it when there's no money. We're doing what people tell us we can't do it, as Tom has done in this endeavor right here. You saw where your name is? I'll right. where my name is. Okay, we'll switch it. Yeah, you both get to have a copy of it. Yeah. Oh, but we only have one pen to meet up. That's all right. No, go ahead. All right. You know it's a purple pen. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. And this is the start of that. This is the start. It's not It's not a product that we can point at and say our work is done. This contract and this process that we've gone through is the beginning, not the end. And 
we've got a long way to go. Um, but we really appreciate the spirit that SEIU 10 to 1 has brought to this. Power. And you can't expect people with developmental disabilities to become empowered unless the workforce is empowered.